Не, на тебе. Ау, с нафиг не хватит. Ау, рекорди. Шер. Ау, да. Да, это что случилось. Не, пора, бай. Окей, so what are we doing? What game are we reviewing today? Mixed reviews. We are reviewing a game that people might have forgotten about. Because it hasn't been played in like 20 years. Maybe even more than 20 years. Okay. It's called Contra. So guys, for those of you who don't know, Kershaw and I recently just found out. Oh yeah, mixed reviews. What's up? Welcome. And we were back with the beard man who eats. As he's doing right now. Yeah. So guys, listen. I know that you guys don't know much about this, but Contra or Konami Games has released a brand new version of Contra, and it looks exactly the same as the OG one. So for those of you who do remember, the old game Contra, when you clicked, when you when you started playing. If you were player one, you got the blonde dude. If you were player two, you got the, the dude with the black hair. Yeah, and red pants. And the red pants, yeah. Red pants. And you got the other guy with the white vest and the blue Double pants. vibes. Exactly. But now, who knew? These guys actually have names. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I was shocked. Blonde guy's name is Bull Riser. And the guy with the black hair's name is He's Lance Bean. Mm. And there's also a girl character named Ariana and two robot characters who we don't know anything about. But yeah, probably really. part of the story mode, which is apparently mm. what the game has now. A yep. story mode. So yeah, but the gameplay and the layout is exactly the same as the old game. 2D scroller, you just go around shooting things, you shoot the little rugby ball thingies that fly across the screen, mm -hmm. and you get guns, as usual. And obviously, the OG weapon spreads is back, in full effect. I don't know if you remember, okay, you probably wouldn't remember, but there was... There was a Contra game that came out. The PS1 version. The no, no, no. That 3D was, one was, was so horrible. No, no, no. It was actually it was called Hard Corps Rising, but it was it was a it was an edition of like Contra. a Contra clone. Or no, it's actually named Contra. It, it was it was called Contra Hard Corps Rising. Ah no, I don't yeah. remember it. So I, I used to play it with Duncan a lot. It was a dope. Mm. Actually, I have the full game on PS. Mm -hmm. You can download it on my profile if you want to. But so that's what good friends do. We share yeah, profiles. Share profiles on <laughs> our PlayStation guys. But anyways, <clears throat> there have been a lot of versions of Contra that have come out. Some 3D ones, some 2D ones. But this ones one, are Contra. Operation Galuga or Galuga Operation will double check the I'm pretty sure it's Galuga. Yeah. But anyways, the new version of Contra that's come out in 2024 is the closest thing to a remaster that you will ever see. Very For example, cool. stage one is the jungle stage. Yeah, it's the jungle yeah. It's the jungle stage where like, you jump out of the helicopter and you land, land down there. And then you gotta run across and like pew, pew, pew. Cool thing about the game that I liked as well, I don't know, you can also share your thoughts on me. I love the fact that like in the previous game or in the original one that they've decided to remaster now. You had shooting angles, so you could run forward and shoot forward or shoot down or shoot up at an angle or even shoot straight up. Yeah, it was like eight directional. Yeah, you had eight directions, directional, but yeah. now you can actually set the control to be either directional, so it has like degrees where it stops, yeah, yeah. or it can be like a free flowing circle. So oh, you can just shoot So it. you can just go around with your analogs. So yeah. You can just like. You don't have yeah. to shoot like in, in that one direction. corner or straight or straight out. like you don't have to aim at either in corners or like you don't have to follow any axis mm, particularly mm. you can just shoot wherever you want to which is brilliant to me and also I don't know if you all for those of you who will remember any OG gamers will remember this the previous or the, the original version of Contra one hit one kill Yes, Remember? yes, you yes, yes, it was, yes. But you got a life yes. bar now you're gonna get yes. that shot like three times before you die which is awesome um that for me made the game really fun because like I have a fighting chance <laughs> to actually get to where I want to be, which is which which made it nice for me. Um, I don't know, like, did you how far did you? Because you played as well. Yeah, I, I, we both played yeah. the demo. We didn't actually yeah. play the full game. We played the demo for fun just to yeah. see what it was about, just to see what the game. But I mean, if you play the demo, you're getting a taste of what the real yeah, game. Yeah, what's 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 coming? Yeah. I will say like like I said to you also like. Um, you have to really slow down with this one because I because I just went in like guns blazing shooting stuff it's like no there's bullets coming from every angle and like you gotta like think before you jump like whoa whoa let me not rush in there exactly and, but it's true like it's uh, I'd say it's the closest thing we're gonna get to a remaster I mean like the original Contra came out in about 1988 mm. around there okay. with like you know the old school like two buttons the and, yeah mm -hmm. like do you remember when we used to like actually have cartridges and had to like blow them like 
Like you used to play them like Stevie Wonder plays our harmonica. Exactly. You'd be like, which is which is which is TV card. Oh my God, that was hilarious. But yeah, that's actually very true. Yeah. So so I I quite I think there's there's also like I don't know if it was I can't remember if it was in the original game, but they have it in this game where I think it's if you hold down R one or R two. That power burst. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a power burst now. Yeah. Was in the original game? Hell no. There was there wasn't even a button for that. No. Oh yeah. Sorry. There was no R one or two. It was like jump and shoot. That was it. Yeah, but so now there's like you can slide like if certain enemy shoot you, which was also from the hard corps game, but I'm glad they kept it in. There's a button where you can dash. So if you aren't gonna be able to jump out of the way of a bullet in time, you can actually just dash through it. Oh, awesome. I but did not it's know got that. A charge, yeah. So you can't okay. just dash the whole time. You gotta like mm. dash and take a chill pull. Yeah, which is dope. And then each of the characters have their own special. Did you see the the character perks? Like, yes. If you yes, have, yes, like I did. The, uh, Lance being the guy. With, I would love to see these guys' backstories because I mean they've got names now. So yeah, because because backstory. now they're actually like character models. Like yeah. they're not just two random dudes they're thrown, just like jumped out of a helicopter in the jungle. We're yeah. gonna go. Fight. But like for example, Lance, his double jump is higher than the rest of the other characters. For example. Mm. Which is which is dope, because like each one like you, depending on your play style or whatever you or, or, or however you like to, to play, play. Mm. you can choose a character that like you know whatever and suit ooh, your play style. Yeah, suit your play style basically. Another thing that you can pick as well, which I think is which I think is awesome, is um you can set character abilities for all of them. So one of them is like if you get shot and you die, you get to keep your special. Oh yeah, yes, 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 yes. I set that one. I did that to my one where I was like even if you die, you have you your same gun just, just gun before friend. you die. You don't lose it. Yeah, also, let us know what your favorite weapon is yeah, in the yeah, comments yeah. when it comes to Contra. Yeah. Okay, what's your least favorite weapon? What was your My least favorite? My least favorite weapon is always and will always be flamethrower. Oh, flamethrower <laughs> was the worst. <laughs> flamethrower because like flame <laughs> like flamethrower doesn't have that reach. Like you have to get really up close and personal. Yeah, you got to be like face to face with the person you're shooting. Yeah. I originally from the Contra game um like the OG one, 1980s, like Famicom mm. machine. My favorite used to be spreads, especially when you mm. get to like level three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the whole screen is just covered in bullets. You don't, you don't yep. have to like aim anywhere. You can just yeah, because we, 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 because you know, like, and you hold it down, and it's gonna it's, it's gonna touch something. Yeah. But lately, with the new one, heat seeking muscle. Yes, heat seeking muscle was. I love heat seeking muscle because like you don't actually have to be in like. In anyway, like you just, yeah, you just have to shoot, and your muscle finds the guy. Yeah. And, and handles that. And handles it, yeah. <laughs> it, it, essentially, it, it, it takes care of business. It takes care of business like, for you. Like, if, if there was a weapon in contract that, that stands on business, it's the heat seeking muscle. Heat seeking muscle. That's the one. <laughs> I think that's a little game. But, guys, for those of you who want to have like a new school taste of nostalgia, Contra is a game that you are going to want to play. It's also a nice game, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. For, for me, for example, I, I'm sure your schedule is different, but like, Ooh. I don't have the time to jam a game for like an hour, yeah. like two hours anymore. Mm. Like, I can knock out like a 15, 20 minute. You know, just like to get my fix in. Yeah. Contra is actually a good game for that because the missions are not super long. They're not long. They're not long. So like, you can knock out a full, like stage one in like ten minutes. But you know, there was something I will say for me personally. I don't know how some people feel when it comes to like, um, when it came to the stage design. Mm. Sometimes it was like um, I was. I won't say like there was too much color going on, but I feel like sometimes when I was like on some levels, there was too much going on on the screen for me to actually focus like where to look like there's bullets coming from here, there's something coming from there, and it's yeah. like, oh, like where am I looking now? Like that was the only thing that I was like, I would change that a little bit yeah. about the game, but it's a it's a solid demo. I, like we can't talk about full game because we only played the demo. Yeah, but but in the, the demo gives you a taste. Yeah, but it gives you a taste. Anyway. But like yeah, guys, if you want to have a throwback to. Chilling with your cousins, blowing cartridges, yeah, and good old family fun time with you tag teaming games. Definitely give Contra a go. I th- and I think I don't actually know how many players you can have because we haven't explored that yet. Because we only whenever we play, it's always two players only. Yeah, but because of this, because of there being so many, many characters, characters I now. think that you could probably play more than two players. Well, we could find out. We definitely should try. We should gather all the homies PS4 controls and make it happen. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's only you and Duncan that have PS5. Yeah, yeah. That we know of. And G actually has a PS5. Yes, and G as well, too. Yeah, so we're getting more homies in the PS5 train. And eventually, I'll get... I want the PS5 Slim, though, but we'll cross the bridge There's and get it. There's a pro coming soon, too. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you want a pro. Either or, but anyways. Not the point of the video, guys. <laughs> you want something that is going to be nostalgic, but also something that you can probably play for like 15, 20 minutes and actually feel like you've actually played and accomplished something, but it's still a really fun game to play and it's also very challenging. 
go into the PlayStation Store or into Xbox Live mm-hmm. or wherever else you can find it. I don't yeah. know if it's available on Nintendo Switch, but wherever you can find it, Steam, either, wherever. It's not a very big game as well. It's yeah, I think, it's about, I think it's like 1.94 gigs or something That's like the demo, that. yeah, but I think yeah, the, full, the, demo, yeah. the full game is like, I don't think it'll be much, much more than that. I mm-hmm. don't think, because the graphics are very simple. It's not as detailed as like a Gears of War kind of game. Yeah, because it's, it's, not a, that but it's, it's like the same camera angle from the original yeah. game. It's like the, 2D the, the, scroller. The, the, yeah, so 2D you, scroller. You so. move forward and back, you move up and down. That's yeah, pretty much it. That's it. The stage kind of like will turn itself depending on how you're walking or where you're at. But, and then you, at, at a certain point, you do a lot of climbing like you did in the previous game. Yeah, yeah, you there's that to, second mission where like, mission where, like where like the rocks would come and you have to like jump dodge before the rocks them. disappear. Yeah, you have, to dodge, yeah. you have to dodge the rocks. Yeah, yeah. that one so was the climbing. It's quite a, it's quite a fun one because yeah, like it's, it's it, when I say throwback, guys, I promise you, when you see the like the opening of the game with the whole sea, it looks like a flame, mm-hmm. bra, everything. And I saw that I was like, yo, this is contra, contra. And Kevin's gonna have footage. <laughs> like, like you, yeah. you'll see what he's talking about. Yeah, we, we always throw it up while we're talking, guys, but you, you'll see. Guys, it's been real. Get contra. Play it. Trust us. It's good. For now, get the mm-hmm. demo, just so you can say you've played it, just for fun. But... I'm telling you, bro, I want to get the full game. But the cutscenes are also like the cutscenes are really like the legit. Also, madness. like 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 when that chick was laying on and she saw like the meteors coming. Mm-hmm. That like the whole the whole cutscenes and stuff is like it's proper proper console quality yeah. type of graphics that you that's, that's coming out of the game. Yeah, but that's why I say that's why it's a, it's a proper remaster. Mm. It's not like a, it's not like pixels. Yeah. It's, okay. actual, like, it, it's actually character models designed yeah. full on people they in these cutscenes. The, yeah, they took the old game, they saw what they could do with it, and like to the fullest of its potential, they were like, okay, cool, we can actually make a new mm-hmm. game mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. the new machine. Yes. So if you, I don't know, okay, I know that it's, I have it on PS4, Kershaw has it on PS5. Mm. So we know that it's available that's, that's on, on all so platforms. On PlayStation Store. Yeah, you can find it anywhere. So like, yeah. if you have an Xbox One or an Xbox Series S or X, PS4, PS5. And I don't know, for those of you who do have Nintendo Switches and stuff, and for the guys who are PC gamers or portable gamers for like your Steam Deck or your Mm -hmm. Asus. I was was going to say, I hope you don't say PSP right now. Oh no, definitely not. Even though I have one, no, it's not available. But guys, go into your app stores, go into your Play stores and all those other Mm -hmm. stores and stuff, and cop the demo at least in the meantime. Get it.